device and tools in the late summer. A major change is happening, and scientists are watching it closely. On the other side of the world, in the Antarctic region, the South Pole is found on a vast ice sheet. It covers a huge continent, Antarctica, and is surrounded by an ocean. and driven by powerful winds. This is one of the roughest ocean passages in the world. Around the edge of the continent, glaciers, great rivers of ice, flow out to the sea. Some of the last unexplored land on Earth lies buried under a blanket of ice. Mountains and even volcanoes peek through and into the diverse geology hidden beneath. Specialized instruments have penetrated the two and a half kilometers of ice to allow us to glimpse a picture of this lost world. It's a land as big as the United States with mountains and even lakes and rivers. Millions of years ago, it was tropical, but the Earth's shifting crust has moved it to this chilly spot. In a few places, wind patterns and mountains have prevented the ice from accumulating. Here in the dry valley, we can step on this pristine land and experience a modern ice age. We know that Earth is not the only planet that can be locked in a cold embrace. This looks like Antarctica, but it's actually Mars, a cold, dry <laughs> desert that has been in the grip of an ice age for many tens of millions of years. There are great accumulations of water and carbon dioxide ice. Extensive layering of the ice suggests regular patterns of change over extended periods of time. In 2008, the Phoenix spacecraft successfully landed in the Martian Arctic. It's hoped that its investigations might tell that primitive life could have existed on Mars. Some forms of life might even exist today on other ice worlds. This is a comet, a dusty ball of ice between 1 and 160 kilometers across. As it approaches the sun, the ice vaporizes, filling the space with a huge trail. Scientists have speculated that the comets furnished the early Earth with half its water and perhaps other more complex chemicals. Comets come from the regions of space beyond Mars. Here in the cold, outer regions of the solar system, we encounter some of the weirdest ice worlds. Europa is a planet sized moon of Jupiter. Its icy surface shows signs of recent melting, freezing, and even floating. Beneath this frozen crust, there may be an ocean of liquid water. Future spacecraft will try to probe its depths. Another frozen moon is Saturn's Enceladus. The Cassini spacecraft has imaged fantastic fountains of vapor shooting out from the southern pole. Smaller than Europa, it still might harbor a watery interior, and the fountains suggest that some mechanism is keeping it warm enough to vent. Vapor from Enceladus might be helping form part of Saturn's ring system. It has been known for some time now that the main rings are formed of car-sized chunks of water ice. Their age and origin remain a mystery. Even more mysterious is this place, 
tighter, and moon Saturn as big as the planet Mercury. We are dropping through its methane clouds with the Huygens lander. This is a world that resembles the early Earth, but in a deep freeze. On Titan, ice takes the place of rock on Earth. On ice mountains, volcanoes, and possibly even methane snow, lakes of natural gas 